All right, now we're going to get on to some fun stuff. Um, we're going to do elevations. Things are going to get a little bit more, a little bit more technical. Uh, not fully technical yet, but getting a little more technical. But what I want to do is draw elevations of this house. I want to draw the north, south, east, and west elevation. Um, and when we talk about elevations and we assign, you know, north, south, east, west, or what have you, to our drawing, the bottom of your screen is always south. Okay, then top is north, the right side is east, and the left side is west, always. Now that's regardless of how the house is going to sit on the property when it's built. That's going to be different. Um, but just for to, to uh, communicate our design, uh, we'll use those points of the compass to um, know where we're talking about. I typically start with the front of my house, which is the south. Um, and, and another thing too is when we draw a house or when we do our drafting, we typically put the, the front of the house at the bottom of the page. Um, it just just it doesn't have to be that way. It's just the way that we normally do it. Um, but anyway, I want to draw an elevation, which is the front of the house, as if I were standing in front of the house um, and uh, looking at it and taking measurements and things of that nature. So to, to start with, um, we need some guidelines to kind of guide our construction. And there, there are construction lines. Um, if I go into the modify panel right here and I hover over, I believe it's this one, and no, that says lengthen. Oh, actually, I need to go to the draw panel. Sorry about that. To the draw panel and uh, hover over here. It says construction line. Um, you can use this one. You don't have to. Um, you can use just a regular line if you want to. Um, but regardless, I always start a new layer. And I call this layer my construction layer. And what this layer does is it has all the guidelines uh, that I'm going to need or that I'm using throughout my design. I might use a lot of different guidelines other than the ones I'm about to use. Um, and uh, you'll kind of see as we go along. And I like to make these guidelines a color that is very obvious to me. And of course it may even be a uh, duplicate color, but uh, I think I'll go a little bit lighter shade of this um, magenta color. See how that works. Well, it didn't change. Let's see. Try that again. There we go. Okay, and that's, that's kind of a bright color that I'll be able to notice. Um, I'm going to close that and I'm going to start on that layer. Construction. And I am going to use these construction lines. And the way these construction lines work, you don't have to set a length or anything like that to them. Um, but what I'm doing is I'm marking the architectural features of my building, the structural features. Okay, so I'm going to start right here at the end of my house. Okay, and I am, and as you see, it the line extends forever in whichever direction that you're pointing it. Uh, because I'm doing the front, I'm going to lock this thing in at you know, 90 degrees straight up and down. All right, And then I'm going to hit the enter button to you know, get out of the tool and then enter button to get back in the tool. And I'm going to mark the edge of each of my windows. Like so. Oops, that's not a good one. There we go. Delete this one. All right, so I'm just going to keep going, marking all the features, the primary features of my building. You know, the left and right of the windows, left and right of the doors. But you kind of see what I'm doing. So I'm going to skip a little bit and come back when I've got all of them done. All 
Okay, so now I've got all the front done. And of course, you can see it also extends out toward the back. I really don't use the back because, you know, of course, my windows are in different locations in the back. Uh, some of them are the same, like this one, but that's about it. Um, and that's, of course, why I suggest you could just use straight lines and just draw the line straight from each feature and drawing it straight down. Um, but I don't know, I just like to use those lines. So I've got all my features marked. You know, I've got the edges of the building. I've got the ends of my windows. And of course, depending on your window, if you've already got like a trim on your window, mark the outside of that trim. Okay, if not, then just mark the window itself, the whole, the uh, rough cut. Uh, door, both sides of the door. Again, window and then the other end of the house. Now what I want to do is draw a baseline for the bottom of my house, baseline for the bottom. Uh, I'm going to go back to the exterior wall color. I'm going to select a line, and it doesn't matter where you come, but you want to leave enough space um, to put your roof for one. You're going to draw a roof on your house, so you need to leave enough space for that and possibly dimensioning. Um, now, of course, you'll probably end up moving. Uh, these these drawings a little bit later and that's typically what I do so I really don't re worry too much about where my dimensions are going at the moment but I do want to make sure I leave enough room for my roof so I just come down somewhere reasonable no specific distance and I draw that base line okay now that is the bottom of the house that is not the foundation however the foundation of the house would actually extend a little bit below this line Okay, so depending on the thickness of the foundation. Um, so that is the bottom. Now, I'm going to establish the wall height. What is the wall height? What is my wall height? My wall height is, remember, if you think back to our earlier lessons when we were drawing by hand, our wall height is going to be 8 feet, 1 and a half inches. And that is to allow for some extra space for... Uh, finishes and things of that nature. So I'm going to offset 8 feet um, 1 dash 1 half not 120 1 half inch. Okay so as you see I'm, I've got plenty of space for my roof. I could probably move those a little bit closer and I think that would be be good for me that way I can easily see what I'm placing uh, when I start doing my windows and stuff like that okay so I'm just going to move probably right in here all right so now I've got my wall height so I'll go ahead and fill in the left side and the right side of my wall Okay. All right. Now, if I had any other turns in my wall, any other corners, such as I would back here, I would also mark that with a straight line as well. And I'll show you that when I get to the rear of the building. You'll see how that's done. But now I've, I've pretty much got the front of the building. Now, at this step, I go a little bit further and I start working on my roof. Okay. So I'll, I'll take the video up on the next video or I'll take that subject up on the next video.